Understanding twinge of guilt in English. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to explore an interesting English phrase, twinge of guilt. This phrase is common in everyday English, and understanding it can really help you in grasping the nuances of the language. Let's dive in and uncover its meaning and usage. A twinge is a sudden, brief feeling or sensation, often physical but sometimes emotional. When we say, twinge of guilt, we're talking about a quick, sharp feeling of guilt. It's not overwhelming or lasting, but it's definitely noticeable. It's like a small reminder from your conscience that something might be amiss. To better understand this phrase, let's look at some examples. 1. When she remembered she hadn't called her friend back, she felt a twinge of guilt. 2. He experienced a twinge of guilt after eating the last cookie, knowing his sister wanted it. 3. As she told the white lie, there was a twinge of guilt, but she brushed it off quickly. These examples show how twinge of guilt is used in everyday situations to express a fleeting feeling of regret or remorse. This phrase is quite versatile. You can use it in formal and informal settings. For instance, in a formal setting, I must admit, I felt a twinge of guilt when I realized the implications of my decision. In an informal conversation, yeah, I did feel a bit bad about it. Just a twinge of guilt, you know? Understanding phrases like twinge of guilt can add depth to your English communication skills. It's a phrase that beautifully captures a fleeting yet significant emotional experience. We hope this video has been helpful in enhancing your understanding of English expressions. Keep practicing, and you'll soon be using phrases like these naturally in your conversations.